In this presentation, we will be seeing about division of tooth, line angles and point angles. Before we move into the line angles and point angles, we should uh, first of all know about the surfaces of tooth. The crowns of incisors and canines have four surfaces, while the crowns of premolars and molars have five surfaces. The surfaces are named according to their positions. In the incisor and canine, the surfaces towards the lips are called as labial surface. And in the premolars and molars, the surface facing the cheek or the buccal mucosa is called as buccal surface. When the, uh, the labial and buccal surfaces are collectively referred to as facial surfaces. All the surfaces facing towards the tongue are called as lingual surfaces. And the uh, surface facing the palate is called as palatal surface. So, uh, the surface of teeth facing towards the adjacent teeth in the same dental arch are called as proximal surfaces. The proximal surfaces can be either mesial surfaces or distal surfaces. The surface which is facing the midline is called as mesial surface. The surface away from the midline is called as distal surface. So, for example, uh, this is the uh, maxillary arch. And uh, for the second uh, molar, we can see that the line drawn in red is the mesial surface, whereas the line drawn in yellow denotes the distal surface. This, the line drawn in green denotes the palatal surface, whereas the one drawn in blue denotes the buccal surface. The surface of the premolars and molars that come in contact with those in the opposite jaw during uh, the act of closure are called as occlusal surfaces. So, we can see the occlusal surface of the maxillary uh, teeth and the mandibular teeth. While uh, the same surfaces which is present in the incisors and canines are called as incisal surfaces. For the purpose of uh, description, the crowns and roots of teeth are divided into thirds and these thirds are named according to their location. So, for example, here we have the uh, maxillary central incisor, the labial surface of maxillary central incisor. And uh, so, first we will see about the divisions of crown of anterior teeth. So, when we view this uh, labial surface from the uh, mesiodistal direction. So, mesiodistally, the crown of anterior teeth can be divided into th uh, three. That is, mesial third, middle third and the distal third. Then, coming to the uh, buccal surface of the posterior teeth, from the mesiodistal direction, it can be divided into mesial third, middle third and distal third. Then uh, the crown of anterior teeth in the cervical incisally. Cervical incisally, it can be divided into cervical third, middle third and incisal third. The same for the posterior teeth along the cervical occlusal direction, it can be divided into cervical third, middle third and the occlusal third. Now, uh, coming to the proximal surface, uh, facio-lingually, the crowns of anterior teeth can be divided into labial third, middle third and lingual third. Whereas, uh, the crown of posterior teeth can be divided into buccal third, middle third and lingual third. Now, we will see the divisions of root. So, this is the anterior root. Uh, so, when uh, viewing the labial surface of the anterior root, uh, from the mesiodistal uh, direction, we can divide it into mesial third, middle third and then the distal third. Uh, again, for the posterior teeth, mesiodistally, it can be divided into mesial third, middle third and distal third. Cervico, cervico incisally, it can be divided into cervical third, middle third and apical third. Then, facio-lingually, the root can be divided into facial third, middle third and then the lingual third. Now we will see about the line angles and point angles. The junction of crown surfaces are described as line angles and point angles. Actually there are no angles or points or plane surfaces on the teeth. Uh, however, they may appear due to teeth wear, uh, for example like attrition or abrasion or uh, due to accidental fracture of uh, teeth. Uh, so, these line angles and point angles are used only as descriptive terms to indicate a location. So, if we imagine the crown of uh, mandibular uh, teeth uh, to be like a cube, then the line angles are uh, formed by the junction of two surfaces 
while the point angles are formed by the uh, junction of three surfaces and the line angles and point angles are uh, named based on the combination of uh, surfaces that forms it so for example uh, this is the maxillary central incisor so the uh, first uh, three image we can see that the pink color is indicates the uh, labial surface and in the next three images we can see that the mesial surface is indicated in pink color so this junction of the labial surface and mesial surface forms the mesiolingual line angle so similarly there are six line angles for anterior teeth so the the line angles are labio incisor line angles mesio lingual line angle and mesio labial line angle lingo incisor line angle distal lingual line angle and distal labial line angle while for posterior teeth there are eight line angles which are mesio occlusal line angle mesio lingual line angle mesio buccal line angle bucco occlusal line angle then lingo occlusal line angle distal lingual line angle distal occlusal line angle and distal buccal line angle and for point angle anterior teeth has four point angles these are mesio labio incisal point angle mesio lingual incisal point angle distal labio incisal point angle and distal lingual incisal point angle and for posterior teeth also there are four point angles which are mesio lingual occlusal point angle mesio bucco occlusal point angle distal lingual occlusal point angle and distal bucco occlusal point angle so as i told before these are only for the line angles and point angles are only for uh, descriptive purposes however it is essential that when we restore a teeth these line angles and point angles should be uh, restored correctly because only if the line angles are correct it will provide a natural looking uh, light reflective surfaces so for example here we can see that the labial surface is too bulky and the uh, line angles are under contoured so this will affect the aesthetics of the restoration thank you